President Nelson has been really vocal and open about sharing his feelings about encouraging us to give of our substance to the poor. He said during the Savior's earthly ministry, he reemphasized his timeless concern for the poor. Remember the reply the Lord gave to the question of the rich man. If thou wilt be perfect, go and sell all that thou hast and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven and come and follow me. Few, if any, of the Lord's instructions are stated more often or given greater emphasis than the commandment to care for the poor and the needy. Our dispensation is no exception. What are modern prophets trying to, um, to have happen by encouraging us to give of our substance to the poor? I, I think it comes back to this bigger issue we've been talking about in terms of discipleship and the willingness to give away or, or to give of ourselves or, or, or put our own natural desires secondary to what God wants. And of course, it's also related to helping and to being kind and generous and loving. And it goes against the natural man. You know, we, we, we are selfish. We like our stuff. We want our money. We want our leisure. And so to have to put that aside, whether it's with money or fasting, tests us. And, and it's important. I think it's sometimes easy to maybe minimize this command to give to the poor. But, but I think of what King Benjamin said, which is if we look at somebody who's poor and we are judgmental and we say, well, I'll stay my hand. Perhaps that person has brought this upon themselves. King Benjamin said that person has great cause to repent. Mm -hmm. God is serious about this command to help others. And as most of you said this earlier, we all have a lot compared to the world, compared to history. We, we have so many blessings and it's important for us to remember that and to give where we can. Mm -hmm.